My name is uh, Hamad Khan and I'm the writer, co-writer, director, producer, editor of Slackistan, which is an independent comedy drama, I guess you would call it, about uh, 20-somethings living in the capital city of Pakistan, Islamabad. So it's a very naturalistic look at a group of friends whose lives are not that different from uh, young people in their 20s around the world, but the context uh, of their world is little bit different because it's Pakistan. We tried to make a film that was just honest to the town that we knew, the kind of people that we knew. Um, at no point during the writing or the, the shooting of it or even at the edit editing stage did we consider that this would be kind of some kind of portrait of Pakistan to the rest of the world. Uh, it, it was only towards the end of the, 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 the editing that we thought, hang on, hang, people are going to look at this country now and you know, try and figure it out. So it's quite it's quite funny that that's happened, um, but I think that as a filmmaker you always want you always want to stay honest and, and and kind of be true to the place and the characters and the vision that you're trying to get across. So no, it was it was just like a you know, if you're in a small town in the U.S. and you wanted to make a film about growing up there, that's really all we wanted to do. But it is a very different side to what you see in the news. So I grew up in the U.K. I was born in Pakistan, but I grew up in the U.K. And in my teenage years, I went back to uh, Islamabad, to Pakistan, fell in love with the place, and then kept going back. So I did some college and some years there. And I was there very much at the same age that you see Hassan, who's the main guy in, in the film, trying to figure out what to do after studies. Um, so I, um, there are elements of, of, of kind of autobiography in there with him being in this deadbeat town, but he wants to be a filmmaker. He doesn't know how to do it. He doesn't know this is the right place, it's a really deadbeat town, there's no cinemas, there, you know, there's nowhere to kind of go and, and get inspired. So those elements are uh, kind of autobiographical because I was there and I thought, how could you be young in this city and, and actually progress? Um, so definitely that, 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 that goes back to the 90s. Um, but today, you know, the situation isn't that different even though the kids are so savvy now with the internet. I mean, there's been a huge amount of anticipation um, with the film in Pakistan because there, there isn't really much of a film culture. There aren't many films that are produced indigenously. Um, you get the kind of Indian Bollywood content and the Hollywood content, but you don't get Pakistani produced films. So people are very uh, anxious to see what it's about. People are also very emotional about how Pakistan is being represented in the world. So um, the film is, uh, has actually had international festival premieres before it's been screened in Pakistan. But now I'm happy to say that the film is almost there. You know, it's not the happiest thing to say that, that the place where it was shot is kind of maybe one of the last places it's going to screen. And I hope that people understand that that's not a choice. It's just the state of affairs, like sort of back home, where there isn't a film culture, where there isn't, you know, a distributor who can say, hey, we want to premiere this here and, and, and then we'll go to the rest of the world. So um, we're still figuring it out. So we really, ha it took, it took international exposure for us to get a deal in Pakistan to convince them to say, hey, you know, you know, we exist uh, ourselves, we have this film. I mean, I'm a Londoner at heart, you know, I grew up here and uh, it's a fantastic city and a fantastic place to be in the world in terms of art, culture and film, because you can look, look east, look west, whatever. Um, and, uh, you know, it's so vibrant and multicultural that I can shoot the film in Pakistan, bring it, edit it in my kind of house in North London and it's screening in London now to a very mixed group of people who are connecting. You know, there are people watching this film from, from Pakistan who are in London uh, as well as, you know, kind of Londoners and people from all over the world. So I love that. I love the fact that you, you really kind of get a measure of, you know, what people think here in London. I think that the future of Pakistan is kind of hanging in the balance in terms of it could go two ways. And the young people who are the, pri the privileged types, who are the elite, who are represented in, in Slakistan, have more access and more uh, awareness to change and to affect change. You know, they're very influential if they, uh, if they take a step. I mean, there's a caption in the film that is a kind of mischievous, you know, little title that, that says resolution and the S dissolves into a V and it becomes res revolution. So that's my kind of belief that, you know, there's not going to be any messiah young people have to do take small steps, whether it's not leaving the country even, and whether it's just looking in, look at the people who are beneath you in terms of, in terms of class, in terms of you know, the haves and the have-nots. We've had terrible floods in Pakistan. 
the elite youth are the ones who are going to have to take the most responsibility. So I'm really hopeful that, you know, that can happen and that will determine their future and also the future of the country.